Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Joey Stephen here, a Canadian immigration practitioner from the Pollenser Studios in beautiful Cambridge, Ontario. These updates are on employment opportunities and they come up frequently. So please feel to subscribe to this channel for frequent updates on job positions. Continue to watch this video about jobs offered by designated employers who can give you the IMM form for permanent residence. We update these opportunities regularly. Please subscribe to this channel so that you could be the first to get a notification on a job opportunity. Thank you. I'm hoping that all of you are also excited that I'm back because that means the opportunity to perhaps get some interviews going. I'd like to discuss the uh, positions we do have available right now. So we have not code level D 30 to 40 factory laborers. But you know, we can get you through um, with a not code level D, no problem. The Blue Cross Health Dental Vision Life Insurance and Company Match Pension willing to train. And uh, they're also willing to assist in finding residential apartments because it's a little rural. And machine operators. Oh, that position was 1170 per hour. 10 machine operators at 1425 an hour. It's a not code C job, so great. International applicants are welcome to apply for possible interviews. Blue Cross Health Dental Vision Life Insurance Company Match Pension. You really need good mechanical aptitude and solid safety background, people. And process operators, um, you need to be a mechanical engineer for this situation. 18.25 an hour and not code C. International applicants are welcome to apply for a possible interview. Not code C, like I said, Blue Cross Health Dental Vision Life Insurance Company Match Pension. <laughs> So the benefits are great for all of those positions. Um, looking for an outside sales professional with at least five years sales experience. Uh, not code level C, salary plus commission, excellent benefits package, that job as well. One account manager, manager, sanitation and food services. They're even accepting international applicants for this situation because they really want to find the exact right person. Salary plus commission, excellent benefits package, company vehicle and gas paid for, nice, eh? But you really need good sales experience and a valid driver's license once you get here if you're overseas. I'm looking for personal support workers. 1414 per hour, not code C. Free flights and half points of startup costs for six weeks, free room and board. You need to have an RN background. And we also need a personal support worker. Uh, sir. I'm needing a boring mill machinist. We're also accepting international applicants for possible interviews. Not code level B job. They want a diploma in CNC from a college or manual machining. So we're also looking for an overhead door installer. They're are accepting international applicants for interviews as well not code level C. They really want two years experience installing commercial doors. We're always looking for auto body collision and refinish technicians. They're accepting international applicants. This is a big client, not code level B. Competitive wage, ongoing training and comprehensive benefits package at that company. But they're looking for a Red Seal licensed auto body collision tech. One process operator level four. Once again, you need um, uh, engineering background for a job like this. It's an 1825 position, not code C with all the benefits. Process operator two, immediate position, $13 an hour, not code C, all of the benefits I previously mentioned. But they're really looking for people who has some tech skills. 
okay, I'm looking for line cooks all the time, several companies have them, but in this position, this employer is looking for three line cooks, two cook trainees. It's minimum wage and tips, but it's a not code B position, and it's open until the positions are full. I'm looking for a tool and die maker, and we're accepting international applicants. If you're out there, please contact me. This is a not code B job. They want, of course, your post-secondary education and really strong mechanical, mechanical skills. I need a project manager in computer and, and information systems. This is a not code A job. This employer is now accepting international applicants, but you need a bachelor's degree in computer science or a related field. Uh, they'd also like you to have your PNP certification, which is project managed professional. I want some engineers. I need a full stack software engineer. I need a pre sales engineer. Both of them are NOC A. We're, both of them are accepting international applicants. I think that the job starts. And you know what? I'm not positive of the wage, so I might not mention that. You need, uh, for the full stack, you need a software engineering a degree, and if for the pre-sales, you need a degree in electrical software. I need four process control operators. Really nice location, very pretty there. International applicants are welcome. This is not code C, Blue Cross and Pension. Willing to train. Yeah, a nice, uh, nice opportunity, that one. For process laborers, immediate position, fourteen fifty an hour. This is not code D, but just remember that even though it's a not code D, Linsys can still get you your your peers through um, a different program. Willing to train, so that's great, right? Five construction laborers, not code D, background in construction considered an asset, but they're willing to train. I'm looking for a certified fire tech. This is a not code B position, excellent wage and benefits package, but you do need at least one year experience in fire and life safety. Two caterer cooks. They're now accepting international applicants. This is not code B, but you have to have large catering experience, specifically um, experience in Middle Eastern cooking. I need an investment analyst. If you're out there, not code A. Now accepting international applicants, competitive salary and benefits package. Two production operators, immediate position, not code C, great benefits package. You have to work nights and weekends, but they're willing to train. They hope you would have some um, bakery background if possible. One hotel sous chef, media position, not cold B. You have got to be in Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, or PEI to apply. Kitchen experience required. Hotel reservation air, um, agent, not code C, media position. You've got to be in the, in the Atlantic bubble. Customer experience, absolutely necessary. Two hotel housekeepers, not code C. Must be in the Atlantic bubble, experience necessary. One hotel line cook, immediate position, not code C, must be in the Atlantic bubble. I don't know if that exists exactly right now, but you must be in the Atlantic provinces to apply. Previous hotel experience, two line cooks, not code B, minimum wage gratuities, you have to have at least one year experience for this employer. They're always looking for a registered nurse in this particular senior home. Competitive wages, not code A. They give you a $5,000 signing bonus. <laughs> Excellent benefits package. But you have to be a registered nurse. And physically fit and able to lift up to 50 pounds. Two licensed practical nurses for senior home care. 
not code B must be currently licensed as an LN, uh, LPN, physically fit and able to lift up to 50. Two caregivers for a senior home, media position, not code C. You have to be physically fit and they'll provide you with structured training. So that's kind of cool. I'm always looking for beverage service technicians. So these are people that they're really looking for um, mechanical engineering for this position. Who consider themselves handy? It's a not code B job, great employer, great benefits. Always looking for carpenters, please. Five carpenters, three lead carpenters. Uh, they're now accepting international applicants for any uh, carpenters who are overseas. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Valid driver's license, minimum three years residential experience for that position or those positions. Looking again for another hotel as a line cook, immediate position. Um, they'll pay up to $17 per hour. It's not code B job. Need a car for this job. Uh, they look um, they look for cook trade certification and food service certificate. So I'm looking for a bed and breakfast chef. This is a very swanky bed and breakfast. Need a position, not code B. They really would like you to have some experience as a chef, but they're absolutely accepting international applicants and would love to hear from you. And the same B&B is looking for a line cook, accepting international applicants as well, a not code B. B need at least one year line cook experience to apply for this job. So I have lots of positions in fast food service management or fast food service crew members, pardon me. Um, it's not code B, but Linces can get you through on not, not code D, so we can still achieve PRs that way. They're willing to train and even promote. So I'm looking for fast food production crew no members as well, not code D, willing to train and promote. I'm looking for a farm equipment operator, not code B, you have to have that background. One fi farm livestock supervisor, not code A, you have to have that background. One fi farm operator technician, not code B, you have to have that background. <laughs> One janitor, um, 1350 an hour, not code D, experience an asset, but willing to train, but you need a car for that situation. I now have 25 personal care worker positions available. This is in a large city, so you know transportation is not, not an issue. They provide full medical benefits. It's not code C. Even overseas um, applicants are welcome. They're willing to train, but experience is an asset. But this is a great opportunity for a lot of people. I'm also uh, I also have a night baker position not code B, willing to train, but experience as an asset. That is the extent today of the jobs that we have available. And it was a pleasure coming back to our meetings finally. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time.